sweeties, it's the sweetest vegan here. Today on the show, we're making cabbage. Why are we making cabbage? Because we had leftover cabbage from the other day when we made those stuffed cabbage things and we couldn't figure out how to peel the rest. Thanks for your comments, by the way. Those are very helpful and I will use them next time I make stuffed cabbage, which I will because it's in the Southern Cooking Bible, so I'll have to redo it. So, um... We're on a budget, so yes, we're being really cheap, and we're going to use the rest of that cabbage that we didn't use. And in the Southern Cooking Bible, they had fried cabbage, they had stuffed cabbage, but I already made those. So I'll do those a little bit later, and then I came across a recipe for corned beef. And corned beef is usually served with cabbage, and that's how she had it in the recipe or whatever. But I was like, I don't want to do a corned tofu anything. Like, I'm not in the mood for imitation meat right now. So let's just corn the cabbage. And I was like, that would be hilarious if I just put corn and cabbage and call it corn cabbage uh, you might not think it's as funny but that's what we're doing today so let's go so you want to start this recipe by bringing a large pot of water to boil um, and then you want to quarter your cabbage this would have been really helpful the other day when I made those cabbage wraps but quarter your cabbage and if they still have the core in them just cut diagonally across the cabbage to take the stem and the core out and that's much easier than trying to core the entire head of cabbage so much easier then you're gonna go ahead and slice the cabbage into about an inch thick and in width you don't even really have to slice if you don't want to but you can just to avoid having to slice it later for kids or have it cooked faster you know whatever just slice the cabbage and then we're going to put it in our big pot of water and of course in normal sweetest vegan fashion my pot is too small I mean what would the show be if I chose the proper size pot from the beginning so put it in a larger pot and then we're going to add in the rest of our goodies I have one bag of frozen corn that's 12 ounces of frozen corn just pour that on into the pot and then I thought if I were to make a corned beef what did that used to taste like it's a little bit of smoky it's a little bit of sweet it's a little bit of fatty it's a little bit of salty so I decided to incorporate those flavors so we have soy sauce for our salty body flavor a little olive oil to add a little bit of fat um, then we have a little bit of agave nectar for our sweet and sriracha sauce just for our that heat and that extra chili flavor it's really good sriracha sauce is excellent plus it has vinegar in it and that really goes with cabbage too if your pot isn't still boiling bring it back up to a boil and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer and cover let it cook for about 30 minutes to an hour depending on how tender or how crisp you want or don't want your cabbage you know let it cook longer if you like it really stewed to death but I just let mine go for about an hour and it came out perfect I'm gonna serve this up and let's see how it tastes so here we have our bowl of cabbage let me just get some corn oh, I lost all my corn <laughs> there we go mmm it is really flavorful it has a lot of flavor and it has a lot of different flavors so nobody will be able to tell like oh my gosh what is in this they'll just be like this is delicious can I get the recipe because it has so many layers yes it has that salt that doesn't really taste like salt it has like a little bit of spice because you know the sriracha sauce hits your palate like really late and really in the back at the end so people will not know what that is coming and it tastes really good it's really subtle and mild and then you have like the agave nectar but that's really not too sweet and then you have that olive oil which is really hitting people in that fat craving but they will not know what hit them this is really delicious mm. bye y'all I'm about to go eat. <laughs> Oil for our fattiness. You know, we crave fat. You need to eat fat because you crave it of oil for our fat you know we kind of crave fat so anytime you can incorporate healthier fats into your diet you know limited amounts go ahead and do that and you won't end up with like a cheeseburger later um 